right now once we understand how to create the register action let me show you how you can create login action inside this action.js file i'm going to add both this action to the register and to the login button later in this course just for now let's create a login action here just down here i'm going to create login action so i'm going to just first export a constant variable with the name login action is equal to and then i'm going to pass here parenthesis and then i'm going to pass here payload this time instead of specifying parameter payload i'm going to say here user credential you can specify any name to this parameter because this is just a payload just for that i'm going to pass here arrow again and then pass dispatch parameter to call the dispatch action inside this action creator just for that here i'm going to create a new service so i'm going to back to my auth service.js and inside it i'm going to create here login service so as you can see here i'm using this export statement to access this function inside the action.js file i'm using here an object to access this register now using this export keyword you need to pass here curly braces like this and inside that you need to pass here register function like this and you need to call here register just like this so instead of importing all the services inside this action file i'm using here this auth service object and using this object i'm accessing this register service so inside this auth service instead of this export just down here you need to say export in the object you need to specify register just like this and then if you create another service just down here if i create here a login service so i'm going to first create here a comment and say login request and then i'm going to say here constant login pass here equal to sign specify a function like this then i need to just specify here a comma and specify here login that's it now you can access both this function with this object as simple as that let me save this file make sure you add these changes inside your application as well back to your odd dos service and here let me create a login service you can notice i'm going to create a login function and as a first parameter to this function i'm going to specify payload you can specify any name to this parameter i'm going to specify here user credential and inside this i'm going to call my exios library dot post method i'm going to make a post request on the login route so in the template string i'm going to specify here dollar curly braces and call my base url first then specify here forward slash and then specify here login so i'm going to make a post request on this login route and then as a second argument here i'm going to specify user credential i'm going to pass data to this user credential parameter when i call this login function just for now when i specify that just down here i'm going to call then inside then i'm going to call callback function so i'm going to say here response like this and here i'm going to say if we have a response dot data dot token now as you know when you specify your user information and click on the register button jwt is going to generate a token when the jwt return that token i'm going to get that token and store that inside the client browser so using that token i can access the restricted data so we're going to simply access that token and if we have that token then i'm going to store that token inside the local storage so i'm going to say here local storage dot set item and in the parenthesis i'm going to create here a key x access token and then as a second parameter here i'm going to specify response dot data dot token when you specify your user credential inside this login form and click on the login button i'm going to store jwt access token inside the local storage you can find the local storage in your browser just click on the application and here you can find your local storage right now i don't have any key and value inside this local storage so what we are going to do is when the user successfully log in i'm going to store the token key inside this local storage so using that token we can access the restricted data just for that just down here i'm going to return promise dot resolve and inside that i'm going to return response dot data as simple as that just down here i'm going to call here catch inside that i'm going to say here error and then i'm going to call here return statement with promise reject i'm going to reject this promise with some data so i'm going to say here error dot response 
dot data. Let me just save this file. So I'm going to just call my service inside this action. I'm going to just see here auth service dot login and in the parenthesis I'm going to specify user credential this data and then I'm going to call here dot then if the promise is successful I'm going to call the then method otherwise I'm going to call the catch method. Inside this then I'm going to call data and in this parenthesis right here inside this function I'm going to call my dispatch method. So I'm going to first specify here type the type of action. So I'm going to say here action types dot login success. So if the user is successfully login I'm going to execute the type of action login success and then with that I'm going to call a payload and I'm going to pass this data to it. So I'm going to get the response from the API and I'm going to pass that data with this payload. Just out of that, just on here, I'm going to return promise dot resolve. And inside that, I'm going to pass my data. Just down here, inside this catch, if you have any error, I'm going to simply call dispatch of the type. So I'm going to specify here action type, which is going to be login fail. And then I'm going to return payload payload is going to be the error message so i'm going to create here a key error and then i'm going to pass here error dot message and if we don't have any value inside this variable i'm going to return default value login failed and at the end let me return the rejected promise so i'm going to say here promise reject and here i'm going to pass my error now just for that as you can see this function is not returning anything we are going to call this login action and this register action inside my login and inside my register component and I'm going to pass value to this payload and then when I pass value to this payload I'm going to get the response from this service so to get the response from this service you need to return that service so before this auth service I'm going to specify here return statement like this don't forget to add return inside this login action as well. So I'm going to say here return. Just like this. Save this file and in the next lecture, I'm going to display this response data in the console and I'm going to dispatch this register and this login action inside a login and register component.